Hello friends, this video on DNF Flock Elements Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next element is Zinc. Zinc is silvery grey again, metallic. And Zinc forms protective layer. We have seen most of this transition metals forms protective layer and thus it prevents itself from further corrosion. When zinc reacts with oxygen, it forms zinc oxide. And that is the protective layer. If you talk about the common ore for zinc, zinc blend is the common ore for zinc. We get most of the zinc from zinc blend. This word zinc came from German word Zinc, Z-I-N-K-E. This is German word Zinc. And this Zinc means what? It means spike, spike actually, spike. Spike is something like this. This kind of shape is called spike shape. And Zinc actually has a spike shape. You see a small, small amount of uh, or small pieces of zinc then you will see that zinc has this kind of spike shape and because of this spike shape it is called zinc and zinc is a German word which means spike right so the zinc crystals actually has spike shape has spikes and the spikes means zinc in German and that's how this name Zinc came. It is the 24th most abundant metal. 24th most abundant metal on earth. Pretty much abundant. It has stable isotopes. And if you talk about the application of zinc, we use zinc in a lot of places. We use zinc for electroplating, galvanization. We use zinc to create or manufacturing utensils. Zinc is also used to create alloys. In steel also zinc is used. Right. Uh, in the solder so that is used for uh, soldering electrical equipments, circuits, there also zinc is used. It is also used in dry cell, in battery, in dry cell battery. Zinc is used. It is also used in shampoo. The anti dandruff shampoo has zinc. Shampoo has zinc. In fact, zinc is an essential metal for the body. Our body needs zinc. So zinc has huge application. We have seen in our day to day life. Zinc is a pretty useful element. It is silvery green color and it forms protective layer when it reacts with oxygen and thus it forms uh, a layer which helps in further oxidation of zinc. Talk about the next element, D block element that is yttrium. Also, I'll tell you zinc is not a transition metal. Please note, we have seen that these three metals are D block metals, but they are not transition metals because they have filled D orbital. It is D10 in case of zinc. Right? If you talk about the zinc electronic configuration, is it 3D10, 4S2. So this is my zinc. And if you talk about the common oxidation of zinc, that is Zn plus 2, that is 3D10, 4S0. In both of these cases, D is full. So zinc is not regarded as transition metals, but zinc is D block element. The next is yttrium. This yttrium is again now periodic 5. This is period 5, period 5 element. This is again my soft, this is soft and this is also silvery white metal. This also forms oxide layer, protective oxide layer or I can say protective oxide film. And that's why because of this oxide film, it is stable in an atmosphere. It is also found generally in the combined state and they are 89 isotopes is 
font. Lot of isotopes of yttrium is there. And this yttrium is named after a town in Sweden that is Yttrbyte. This is the name of a town in Sweden where it was found in 1787. It was found pretty early, 1787, and this was found in uranium ores. And this element is named after the town. This is used in superconductors. It is also used in televisions, the old televisions, uh, the CRT ones, not the LCD one which you see nowadays, the CRT television. It is used in lenses to create camera lenses. It is used in the lasers. It is uh, used as catalyst also, yttrium for ethylene polymerization. It is used as catalyst. It is also used in spark plugs in vehicles. It is also used in as gas mantles. Gas mantles, you must have seen some uh, gas mantles where we used uh, Earlier we used to use actually thorium for the mantle. So it will something like this, there will be a pipe, right? And this will be some gas cylinder here. And here they have some mantle actually. And this mantle actually earlier here thorium was used. But since thorium is radioactive, now instead of thorium, we use yttrium. Okay, so there are a lot of applications of yttrium also. And it was found pretty early, 1787. The next element is zirconium. This is also period 5 element. This is period 5. This is uh, hard. This is not soft. This is hard. And this is also silvery, grayish white uh, color. And this name is taken from the mineral zircon. There's a mineral Zircon, this zircon is actually the main source of zirconium and thus this name zirconium came. There are five isotopes of this naturally occurring and there is not much biological role for this particular metal. This is hard, this is ductile and this is malleable also. Okay. It is resistant to corrosion by alkalis or acid or even salt water but dissolves in um, high power acid like hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. Since it is hard, it also has high melting point and boiling point. Right? It has very low electronegativity. Electronegativity is very low. In fact, one of the lowest electronegativity it has. 1.33 on the polling scale. We talk about the application of this. It is used in the nuclear reactors. It is used in the space vehicles. Why space vehicle part? Because it has high melting point and boiling point. It is also used in uh, knee replacement surgery. Again, because of high melting point and boiling point and very hard. And um, it is also used actually in the dialysis. Why? Because this zirconium actually binds to the surface of urea. So if you talk about dialysis, in dialysis what we do is, see if you understand the dialysis process, dialysis is nothing but purification of blood. So typically this blood is purified by kidney but for some reason if your kidney is not working properly then the urine content in the blood increases. See the way it works is if the kidney is working fine this urine is excreted out by the stem. Right? But if the kidney is not working fine the urine content in the blood increases and that makes a patient uncomfortable and the first patient may die also. So in that case dialysis process is used in dialysis what happens is the blood is made to pass through zirconium and zirconium binds the urea. So with that the blood is purified because the urea is binded to zirconium. Zirconium is also used for skin treatment and in old days, old days, 
we used to have this camera and this camera used to have flash bulbs flash bulbs and these were one shot this these were used only in, uh, once right because after every flash it used to burst so in old days photography these flash bulbs had zircon you must have seen in some old movies where uh, this flash uh, camera or the flash bulb of the camera used to burst for every shot for every shot uh, there is a requirement to change the bulb and these bulbs were made of zirconium. The next element is niobium. This is also is period 5. This is a little soft and this is also grey, shiny, silvery. This is ductile. And it was discovered in 1801 actually and this was named after Greek mythology that is Niobe. Niobe actually is daughter of Tantalus. Okay. So from Tantalus, this is Niobe, I can say, daughter of Tantalus. See, this from Tantalus mythological Greek word we have this metal called tantalum right, which was discovered earlier than niobium. Now this tantalum resembles this newly discovered uh, metal. So since tantalum daughter is niobe, sorry since Tantalus daughter is Niobe and Tantalus from Tantalus the word Tantalum came and Tantalum metal which resembles this new metal so they gave this new, uh, new metal name as Niobium correct because it resembles Tantalum and Tantalum came from this Greek uh, mythology Tantalus and Tantalus daughter was Niobe so they named this after Niobe this is one of the least reactive metal and since it is least reactive, it is used in ear pierce. Why? Because in ear pierce, you don't want any infection. So, this is used. It is least reactive. It is also used in nuclear reactor. It is used in nuclear reactor. It is also used in uh, superconducting magnets. MRI, you must have uh, heard of this term magnetic resonance. This is used uh, as a test to check your brain and other body part. So there we have superconducting magnets. So here niobium is used. It is also used in electron accelerator. Electron accelerator. It is used in steel production. It is also, it also has some radioactive isotopes but it has stable isotope. So these are the major use of this niobium and uh, the funny part about the niobium is the way it is named from uh, this Greek mythology Niobe, the daughter of Tantalus. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.